Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding employees with missing information and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called employees with two different columns, employee ID and the name, and these are their data types. Employee ID is the primary key, so non-null unique values. Each row of this table indicates the name of the employee whose ID is employee ID. So basically employee ID and the name of the employee. We are also given another table called salaries with again two columns, employee ID and their salary. And here also employee ID is the primary key for this table, so non-null unique values. And this table in basically represents the employee ID and their salary. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the IDs of all the employees with missing information. And how do, how do they are defining the missing information? Either the name is missing or the salary is missing. And the final result should be ordered by employee ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we are given the employees table and salaries table with three different data points uh, in each of these tables. So employee ID 2, 4, 5, this, these are the names of the employees and these are their salaries. And obviously we are to output the IDs of such employees where either the name is missing or the salary is missing, right? So uh, here if we see for employee ID 2, uh, the name is present. Uh, but there is no salary, right? So uh, salary is missing. So employee ID 2 should be there. For employee ID 4, the name is there. The salary is also there. So 4 won't be included. For employee ID 5, name, salary, both are present. And uh, the fourth should be, since 4 and 5 are here, 2 is not in this table. So we also need to look at which employee ID does not have a name but is in the salary table. So if you see employee ID one is in the salary table, so it has salary, but there is no name, right? So basically one and two should be the output, right? And this is what we get. Okay, so one thing that right away can come to your mind, and if you don't read the question carefully, it will lead to the problem, right? So one thing uh, a person can think of here is, oh, so if we do a join here, right? So if we do a join of employees on salaries uh, and see whether, whether the salary column is null, uh, then we can, you know, arrive at the destination, right? But see, if you do a left join of employees table, on salaries or you do a left join of salaries on employees table in both the cases you won't be able to get the entire list of employee IDs where either the name is missing or the salary is missing let me just show you right so if you just let's do a left join of employees on salaries so how the join works so firstly uh, we will uh, and we are joining on employee ID column right so here the cursor will start with the first row, right? So employee ID 2, it will see here, oh, there is nothing. So in the salary column, it would be null. For 4, the, the salary will be populated, 63,539. For 5, uh, name and salary is going to be 76,071, right? Since a left join keeps all the rows on the left side of the keyword left, so only three rows will be present where uh, for the first row, the salary would be null because there is no employee ID 2 in the salaries table and rest 2 will have salaries column. So if you return the employee ID in that case, you are only going to get 2. But ideally, your answer should be 1 and 2. Similarly, if you do the opposite, that if you left join salaries on employees, again for 5, it will find a match. So the name will be question here. For one, it won't find anything, so name would be null. For four, employee ID four, it will find a match and the name will be Haven. So here also, if you return the employee ID uh, where the name was null, it would be uh, only one, right? But if you think about it, what I just described as two separate things, so basically doing a left join of employees on salaries and vice versa, 
if we combine both and union the result then we can get the answer right so because if you when we did a left join of employees on salaries what we what we got two when we return where salary was null right and when we did a left join of salaries on employees and did where name is null uh, we got employee id one so the answer is basically one and two right so we can get the answer okay so let's do this so let's first do a left join of employees so basically from the table employees aliased as e do a left join on salaries table aliased as s on which column e dot employee id is equal to s dot employee id and after doing this we are only going to keep which rows because when we do a left join so uh, these this entire these two columns with the data is going to be present right when we are doing a left join two new columns would be added employee id from the salaries table and the salary from the salaries table right so when we are doing a left join what do we need to do here since we only need to keep where the information is missing so in this case we are only going to keep such rows where the salary is null so salary is null basically means salary information is missing so where s dot because salary column is in the salaries table right so s dot salary is null and what do we do we return the employee id and we are going to return the employee id column from the employees table so e dot employee id right so here from this what we are going to get two because for four and five there is going to be a match and the salary is not going to be null right and we do the same thing but in a reverse manner so what we can do is select or basically from the salaries table aliased as s left to join employees table aliased as e again on s dot employee id is equal to e dot employee id and here we are only keeping such rows where since we are left joining salary table on employee table so this entire thing is going to remain as it is but two new columns will be added employee id and name from the employee table and when we don't find a match then the null values will be in the employee id and name columns from the employee table so where e dot name is null right and what do we return we return the employee id column from the salaries table so returns s dot employee id so from this we got two from this we got one and at the end what do we do we just do a union so union let's go ahead and run this uh, okay, uh, before going ahead and running this, see one last thing we need to do is the order of the result should be in employee ID in ascending order, right? Okay, so we order by employee ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it and see if this passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem. There is another way to do it. It was, so what you can do is, you can use common table expressions or basically temporary tables to do this in another way, right? So what you can do is, from these two tables, you can get all the employee IDs basically from these tables. 
store it in a temporary position or store it in a temporary table common table expression does not matter and then once we have that then we can perform a double left join so basically what i'm saying is so let's say for this right so we i create a common table expression which returns me all the employee ids from both these tables so basically two four five and one right so two four five and one right so now what i can do is so this is a common table expression or a temporary table and now i can perform a double left join so what i do is i do a left join of this on employees table so what it will what it will do so two it will find it will uh, make a you know uh, populate the name column as crew four five it will populate but for one it will be null right so what will happen so here it will be crew here it would be haven here it would be Kristen in the name column and here it would be null right and then what I do is we I do another left join of this thing on the salaries table right so what will happen is for uh, employee ID 2 right so for since 2 is not in the salaries table so here the salaries column would be null for 4 uh, salary would be 63539 539 for employee id 5 the salary would be 76071 76071 and for employee id 1 it is going to be 22517 right so 22517 and now when i do only keep those records where either the name was null or the salary was null right so it will remove both of these rows because here we have both the name and the salary so no information is missing so from this now i can return the employee ids and order in the ascending way right so this is again another way to do it right so if you don't want to uh, go by this basically doing a thing and a vice versa you can you know employ this method but again it is in both the cases we are using joins so more or less uh, the runtime would be similar uh, and whatever suits you or whatever seems more logical to you you can adopt that right and let me know so here i just demonstrated the logic let me know what the actual code will look like for this second method right in the comment section okay uh, hopefully this video made sense and hopefully it was helpful to you uh, let me know in the comment section if it was and until then i will see you guys in the next video